Hello everyone. Hope you are fine. This video is about uh, a comparison between Epic Severin and Warfarin. Let's start. Warfarin is an old time-tested vitamin K antagonist. On the other hand, Apixaban is a relatively new class of oral anticoagulants, which are called NOEC or DOEX. NOEC means novel oral anticoagulant and DOEC means direct oral anticoagulant. Apixaban is a factor 10A inhibitor. And as I told, warfarin is a, is a vitamin K antagonist. For warfarin, its effect can be reversed with vitamin K, so antidote is available, whereas there is no antidote for epixaban up till now. Another important thing is that uh, warfarin is metabolized by CYP450 enzyme system, which is affected by many drugs, which uh, are enzyme inducers and enzyme inhibitors. On the other hand, apixaban is met metabolized by a different enzyme system, which is CY3A4 and 5. So there are less chances of drug interactions with apixaban. Coming to dosing, a warfarin dose is variable and it depends on INR result and it needs to be adjusted according to the INR blood test report. Apixaban has fixed dosing, so it is convenient for the patient. Warfarin has slow onset of action. It starts working after 48 to 72 hours. On the other hand, Apixaban has a rapid onset of action and it starts working in one and a half to three hours. Warfarin has longer half-life. If a dose is missed, it can be taken before midnight, not after midnight. Apixaban, on the other hand, has shorter half-life. If a dose is missed, you are not protected, so needs to be taken immediately. Warfarin is uh, quite cheap, whereas Apixaban is expensive. So uh, Warfarin is cost-effective as well. Other important difference is about uh, food interactions. Warfarin has many food interactions. For example, foods rich in vitamin K like spinach, broccoli, kale, they, these decrease effect of warfarin. And cranberry and grapefruit juices increase effect of warfarin. Alcohol also affects effect of warfarin. So patients should not binge drink or make big changes in uh, the amount of alcohol consumption. There are no such food interaction for Epixaban. Here I just want to mention that uh, Epixaban is a noic, so uh, other drugs in this group are Rivorox, Rivoroxaban, which is also a factor 10 a inhibitor. And there is another drug in this group called Tabicatron, which is thromb uh, thrombin inhibitor. So th these were the differences between warfarin and Epixaban. Now I just want to discuss some side effects of Epixaban. As with warfarin, there is increased risk of bleeding. Patient should be monitored for signs of bleeding or anemia, that is blood loss, an indicator of concealed hemorrhage. The major bleeding rate with apixaban is 2.13% per annum. And as I mentioned, there is no specific antidote. In case of a significant bleed, the patient should be referred to a and &E for supportive measures. Patients should be advised to seek medical advice if they experience persistent or frequent episodes of bleeding. Other side, side effects of apixaban include itching and allergic reactions. Dosage of apixaban treatment dose is usually 10 mg twice daily for days 1 to 7. And after that, maintenance dose is 5 mg twice daily for long term from day 8. This dosage is for recurrent DVTs. And uh, apixaban is taken with water, with or without food, with or after food. Dose is half or reduced to 2.5 milligram twice daily in patients with at least two of the following characteristics. Age 80 or above, body weight 60 kg or less, or serum creatinine 133 micromole per liter or above. Similarly, 
dose, dose is 2.5 milligram twice daily in cases of severe renal appear, uh, impairment with creatine in clearance of 15 to 29 ml per minute. And as I mentioned earlier, an INR monitoring is not required for a band, so only clinical surveillance is recommended for bleeding and anemia. Annual review is done to weigh the risk of thrombotic events against bleeding risk using chat vask and has blood scores. When we start a fixer band, baseline renal function tests are done and then after one year, these are repeated and monitored. Monitoring for signs of bleeding or anemia is a routine and a fixer band should be stopped if severe bleeding occurs. On a review, any other dose adjustments necessary based on body weight and concomitant use of interacting drugs is considered. And this is the end. Thank you very much. Don't forget to watch other PLAB2 videos on my YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell icon for more interesting videos and touch the like icon button and forward this video to your other friends. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye.